about how there was so much food this weekend and I wasn't there to enjoy all the amazing Aww. food. I went down at the chicken wings, <laughs> chicken licking festival. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anthony, what happened? <laughs> Hey, Anthony, what happened? Well, we, I don't think we should get into yeah. this conversation. No, let's ah. get into it now. Chicken. Because we know you. And the next person is Anthony will dash all the way to the British Embassy <laughs> now. What happened, well, Anthony? Well, it was like a chicken wing eating competition, Jeez. but it went beyond that. There was so much food. Oh, and goodness. when I saw, I, I couldn't go to because I had some other things to do. But when I saw the video, I'm like, oh my goodness, we missed this. And I like the guy who put it together, Isham, the guy who owns the Irish pub, at, uh, who okay. manages the Irish pub at Echo Hotel. I think he's trying to create content out of this. Or well, the maiden one, I think it's the maiden one because that's the one we're is invited there any to cover. Extra, is there another one coming up soon? I'm sure I'll talk to him. Please, uh, and he obviously Anthony, he likes, don't. He, please. There's please. another event TV. coming up. Bro. Which one? It's a cold water drinking <laughs> event. All the cold that, water I can drink. In that's the world. not event. That's so not a like proper it, event. All types of this flavored water, there's diet nah, water. I don't want that one. I want one that has chicken. No one that has chicken there's in chicken it. There's chicken water. I don't need to burn chicken. You drink all oh, that. Oh, no, blood. no. I don't want that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I think the winner consumed over 100 pieces what? in over 40 wings. minutes. You're going to be sick. Because that was. <laughs> if I was the one, I would not even just take the chicken and be eating it. Eating it. But I won't consume everything. It was cash price. Yeah, it was cash price. So. At wow. the end of the day, you consume that much protein and you still get lots of cash. So imagine. Wow. So we win for you. But trust me, I don't spend think. Spend that money in the pharmacy. I, ca I can't do more than four Diuretic pieces. Diuretic medicine. I can't do more than four, 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 four pieces. pieces. Four pieces. Well, well, anyway, it's chicken good. wing. I mean, look at Anthony. I mean, you can't do more than four pieces <laughs> and we have this type of stuff. Anyways, let's just go to what we have on trending. I, at least I don't know. When I saw this story, I thought it was a bit controversial. And I felt like, well, okay, with or with, without Don Jazzy, Afrobeats wouldn't have become a global priority. Mm. So when I saw this, I just didn't think. It is, right. yeah, of course, I feel like Don Jazzy contributed to, yes. but I don't think he's, you should give him the whole credit. Mm -hmm. Where do you put people like Kenny's, Kenny's, the guys who no, did Ron Kenny? Who said that? The, that's what Tiblis is saying. No, he's very correct. In fact, even without Don Jazzy, we would not have discovered Fuji music. <laughs> without Don Jazzy, we would not have discovered, uh, what's it called, uh, Afro beats, Afro juju, Afro pop. In fact, without Don Jazzy, we wouldn't have discovered the music industry. Mm. It said Afro, without Don Jazzy, Afrobeat wouldn't have become a global pride. Yes, yes I think you just right. used the right line. Mm. You said contributed, mm -hmm. which is very good. And, and Tolu, always remember, people have a right to talk. But sometimes the question is based on what? What, what is purposes? your conversation? What is your statement based mm. on? Do you have any facts or is it? Because always remember, for me, I'm always fact and sentiment. Sentiment is a personal thing. Mm. And they have a right to make a personal opinion. So if he says, this is my personal opinion, agreed. Do you mm. understand? So contribution, I agree. But let's also consider that song called Oliver Twist. It did a lot. Yeah. Oliver it? Twist, that song itself, was a massive movement for the entire Africa. And then you had so contribution skill. for me is a right word, not without him. That's too strong to say. And that's based on a personal opinion. I still stand with you because I feel like if not for Don Jazzy, we would not have even discovered Afro pop and all that genres. In fact, Don Jazzy is the Christopher Columbus of African music. He took our music to the world. I mean, where does T Bills get off when he says things yeah, like this? I mean, maybe this, this, this is a comeback opinion. I mean, you've been out of the media for a while. Mm -hmm. You need to do things that's going to get attention again. And so, tongue wagging in this direction is probably going to get you all the attention you mm -hmm. need. I mean, yes, without Don Jazzy, if our hip hop and rock and roll would not have metamorphosed <laughs> to what it is today. I, 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 from I, out think, there. I think that when <laughs> it comes Same, to Afrobeat, man. the whole movement of Afrobeat, yes, he, he contributed, like yeah, I said, yeah. he wasn't the main or he's not the main. Yes, there have been like series of events oh, and happenings yes, that happened yes, and reverberated yes. and then yes. he also just played his part. Yes. So everyone played their part. Exactly. Two faced yeah. his own part. Everyone yeah. played. So he's, I don't think it's fair to now say one person yes, he's, is the it's author, a personal, author of Like them. I said, it's, it's an opinion. An opinion is not a fact. So look at who is saying it first. Mm. Evaluate that person's capacity before you accept it. That's how I think. I first look at who is speaking. Then I can evaluate the person's capacity. I can mm. know, oh, please. Mm. You know, there are all kinds of conversations that go on these days. I hear people sometimes that just say, um, Two Faces is an icon. David O is an icon. Like, okay. I just, I look at who is speaking and I keep quiet. What parameters are you just Exactly. Speaking? On what parameters Parameters. would you yeah. say Two Face is an icon? Or, or they call them legends. I'm like, okay, I'll just keep quiet. Because mm -hmm. people say these things from a personal opinion and mm -hmm. look at the capacity of who's speaking yeah. before you even respond. Because yeah. Yeah. trust me, icon and legend is too heavy. It's for too deep. It's too heavy. No, yeah. These guys are incredible guys. They've done, fun, they've done amazing works for mm -hmm. Nigerian mm -hmm. music, but they're not legends or icons yet. Uh. Just think None it's too much. Them. It's too much. No, it's too much. You want to keep it, Arthur? All right, let's we, move. We will them. Tibu, Tibu and I will be back with a counter statement. <laughs> <on this>. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> the next trending story says women supporting women is the biggest BS of the century. This is from Tacha. I don't know why you keep having this conversation on women support. This is that we don't support. I, I think that some women support women, but naturally women, we are our own greatest enemy. We claim to support each other. Yeah. Men can fight women and next day in the bear parlor, yes. hugging it out and acting yeah. like no man. But women just sometimes always find it difficult to support each other, even when we claim. I don't know how you guys see it from your perspective. Well, I Do you think, think we, we I think support? for women, you girls are yet to sort out your pecking order. So your pecking order is so vicious. Like, men have understood there is a, there's a pecking order for men. There are alpha males, there are beta males, and there's everybody else. For women, y'all are yet to understand that there's a pecking order. And when mm. you can exist in harmony in that pecking order, there will be mutual, there will be enough mutual respect to go around and help each other lift and help lift the next woman up. Mm. And we, we, I've seen this in mental. I've seen women talk down on other women. I've seen women who work in the you know business space and they always you know maltreat and they treat their fellow True. women workers. Even people who are not even competing in the same space, you mm. find that this unhealthy energy okay, yeah. that that exists between mm. them. And the only reason why this happens is because the women don't see themselves as people that should help one another. They feel like if I struggle to get here this badly, then you mm. too as well should suffer and go through the same pains. And when one woman realized that, oh, this person could have helped me, but decided mm. not to help me, it breeds some really unhealthy, you know, relationships. relationships. So y'all saw that that pecking order of the thing, <laughs> and then I'm sure we'll find women, you know, working in perfect <laughs> harmony. <laughs> well, I would say, scientifically, you know, I would always look at women as more intimate, and we guys are very, very casual. And, mm. you know, naturally, that's been proven out of science that, Women are very intimate and we are very open. So that's it. We probably don't take these things seriously. Women take it very seriously and that's where competition comes in. So for them, it's more of an intimate thing. Mm. For us, it's a casual thing. Oh, Arthur, I have this, that's why. But for a woman, it's very it intimate. To think about it so then. if you look at the scientific makeup of these genders, you find out they're very intimate, they're very inward. We are very open and casual with mm -hmm. things we don't take things as seriously as women do and that's why women get angry like take this seriously that's where this is also coming into play we just see that's cool where guys it works yeah. but the women take these things seriously oh, so it's intimate it becomes personal it's easy for all that kind of stuff to now find its way in terms of jealousy and that's where it comes from. I think because when we, we say again that oh we love each other we support each other then you go to events you meet women you connect with women but then there's always that talking bad about someone behind That's their back. And what. I'm like... Women are bred to compete with each other, naturally. Wow. They're bred to compete with each other for men, for the attention of men. Mm. They're bred to, to compete. Who, who can cook the best? Yeah. Who can get the best attention? So when you know that there is a competition on ephemeral things, you, 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 you become unhealthy the way you think but and I the way think you operate. The most important thing to, uh, for a woman is to be able to be comfortable in your skin. That's the most... Yes. If you're comfortable in your skin, yes. you're not competing because you know who you are. But guess what? You're not the only one with flawless skin. There are several of you who are flawless. So after we finish, you know, saying, okay, who is in love with whose body the most, then there are other things that you bring as a source of comparison. Like mm. I said, if women weren't bred to compete with each other over the world, over things that the world can offer, yeah, I think women would be in a much better yeah, place. I think we and it all too. stems from how they are made to compete, compete with each yeah. other for attention of men. Yeah. Go and get the best man in society. Yeah. Get the best of this, get True. the best of that. So when women see themselves as competing for a limited resource, they would never be able to help each other. But mm. men see the world from a different perspective. perspective. Mm. Men are bred to understand that you cannot achieve some great things without, without the partnership yeah, yeah, and help yeah, yeah. of one another, yeah. which is why men have a much more symbiotic relationship with one another yeah. as against the women. Women only ride each other for as long as it's good. Yeah. And even when that ride is going on, they are still subject to cross carpeting. Mm. Crazy. <laughs> you don't analyze we, the essence of what's I think if, we, if women now begin to understand that there's something deeper than what we see, mm. you understand, then they can address this issue mm -hmm. and begin to ask themselves, why do you feel like this naturally? Yeah. Therapy. So through therapy, you can talk about it and find out what's the main cause. Because once the main cause is identified and this conversation starts, it will work. I think even when you're not trying to be competitive, competitive in mm. your, some women just naturally want to be competitive naturally. to try and be in your mm -hmm. face. So you see, it's so natural. So as I said, it's then we need to sort our issues out and just yes. be comfortable to know that we are. We need to collaborate. It's an mm -hmm. internal thing. And you know, whatever is internal requires time to research, identify and do what and eliminate it mm. because it must be spoken about. So if this conversation becomes very healthy, and very important amongst women in yeah. work. Okay. And since we can all identify from this angle, then it's glaring that you know competition naturally finds its place in a woman. Why? 
Mm. Once the why can be answered, a solution will that's come. That's true, though. I like how you guys analyzed it. I mean, that's food for thought. <laughs> right? So the next story is Travis Scott and Drake slammed with lawsuits after festival tragedy. The, that's Travis Scott, the festival that... Astro World. Astro World. Festival. Eight people died. Yeah. I don't know why this happened because I know there was something similar that happened to... You have kids, though. I think it was Ariana Grande's concert, too, mm. where a couple of people died. I don't know why this happened, but mm. of course... They've been slammed with a lawsuit, and I'm sure this is definitely something that he apologized and spoke about it, but it's not enough to do with the fact that you had eight people who died in your concert. You know, it says they failed, well, defenders failed to pl properly plan and conduct the concert in a safe manner. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure. There's no safe way to conduct yeah, a concert where you have adolescents yeah. with so, raging hormones jumping true. up and down on stage. Mm -hmm. I was saying something on the radio this morning. I said, back mm -hmm. in the day, I mean, in the beginning points of the millennia, at the shrine, because I clear public, there was a particular chance that would be made at the at the zenith of the show. Like they wanted to get the crowd really jumping. It was titled "Show Weary." Anybody who knows what I'm saying on the sound, I'm saying to go show weary, show weary, show weary, show weary, show. It was a chance that just got the people up and going. Yeah. Now, in the middle of that, anything that happens happens. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. somebody could be making a dance move that's replicating a boxer tossing his fist. Someone could make it look like he's a karate car doing kicks and everything. If you are in the radius of a punch or a kick and it lands on your face yeah. and your body part, I'm, a, I'm sorry, you know what we are doing? We are going crazy. Yeah. Same thing with Travis Scott. Even one of his lyrics says, and you know it's not a party if there ain't no injuries. Wow. Wow. Do you understand? So they embrace this rough, rugged, and yeah. violent mm. culture. It adds to the allure of their events and it makes it a to die for event, like literally to die for. In this case, a homicide detectives have been called in, narcotic detectives have been called in to try and find out the okay. cause of the crowd surge because I'm sure that some of the people who got killed were trampled on so mm. uh, there are suspic suspicions yeah. that somebody was injected with a narcotic drug yes. or several people were injected with a narcotic yeah. drug and so this is what the police is trying to find out mm. holding Travis Scott or Drake responsible, responsible. for people's behavior at a concert, I really think it's ridiculous. Exactly. It's like holding Alec Baldwin responsible for shooting off a live exactly. round True. when it wasn't his Be fault. Because what this also says, the indications that the performer organizers and venue were not only aware of the hectic crowd, but also that injuries and potential deaths may have occurred. Mm -hmm. Sure, they would have been aware of the safety concerns, but they still decided to go ahead and says that um, they still decided to put profit over the attendees and allow the deadly show. With any concert that happens, both here in Nigeria, there's always that tendency to have these kind of things. But how best? Can it be prevented? That's the question going forward. Yeah, well, it's nearly it's nearly impossible, mm -hmm. like Arthur said. I agree totally with Arthur. And most times when you go for a concert, you want to totally lose your hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. You understand? So it's nearly impossible. It's man's nature to go and have fun. And when you want to have fun, that's when you say, let your hair down. You mm -hmm. understand? Because the, the, the thing about this case now is you knew, mm -hmm. why didn't you stop? No. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because he's now claiming, oh, he's standing on stage. How could he have seen 3D? everything that's going on which was nearly impossible to an extent he has you know because how could you even stop and say okay all right concert cancelled and we move on mm -hmm. it's nearly impossible yeah, and you know how it is working. everybody's streaming live mm -hmm. so people have different videos mm -hmm. and different angles or even stuff maybe they didn't capture of what exactly mm -hmm. happened at that concert so the truth is the best you can do all the safety measures can be upgraded as much as possible. People yeah, will still people get wild at concerts. I you understand? Think, I think the energy of the artist performing as well is also an issue. Yeah. I mean, look at this Travis Scott. This guy yeah. is, in a, yes. is in physical peakness of his prime. Exactly. You don't expect something like this to happen at a Mariah Carey concert. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, and where did no. concert. Yes. Oh, you so everybody's concert. just chilled. Yeah. Yeah. And I think kudos to Nigeria because we found a way to circumvent this thing, whether we know yeah. it or not. And we yeah. have like we mad people tables. in the no, country. We, put, you know, we have tables <laughs> at our events. So you have the best playing clientele in the front row where they are the tables and the regular people who have all that crowd energy flanking the mm. stage away at the back. Mm -hmm. So the likelihood of there being a crowd surge or a stampede is, is at fun. minimum. Yeah. But when you had all these big events in the UK and wherever and so on and so forth, you have stadiums. the people with all the energy. The artists want the people with all the energy in front. They want that because they feed off that energy. Mm -hmm. So at exactly. the end of the day, can you really blame Travis? No, you <laughs> cannot. Well, and you know that's also good for the optics of TV. Yeah. When you True. have... And you, you know, see, oh my God, there's a lot of people came to my just concert, yeah, two, 5,000. I think it's just, we're about the only few people I know who have VIPs in the front. Mm -hmm. It's not done. Like, I've always known concerts to have an energetic audience in the front. So when I started seeing VIPs in the front, it looked very <laughs> weird to me because I'd never seen that. What's her name when she Ash came to Nigeria? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it wasn't only her. A lot of people complained. No, even she complained. Was even Nicki Minaj? Even Idris. I think it was Lauren Hill. Was even Idris Elba complained too. He was like, ah, what's going on? Why do you have VIP up front? The one I want to talk about is that Lauren Hill. I think she came down to it. I think it was Lauren Hill. White Web did it too, remember? She said, no, I'm not performing this type of crowd. 
Wasn't what? Mariah Carey. Why was complain? Do you remember? So a lot of them did complain mm. because they had never seen, I'd never seen except here. And I'd noticed they'll have the VIP sitting in the sitting front. In front. Uh, and then the TV optics oh. looks like, ah, uh, what what's is going, going on? on? We need to make them, I, I don't know why we do it here in Nigeria, but maybe it's just for setting. No, and we don't have like a place, like I say, a stadium where, I think they wanted to kind of replicate um, yes, we don't the have Atlantic yeah, we, for yes, that yes, kind of purpose, yes, but yes, it didn't work. Yes, yes. Logo, but yes. <laughs> it didn't, it didn't quite turn no, out well. I, I totally agree that we haven't gotten that arena yet that can really hold okay. a capacity for it. Yeah, but we. <laughs> are you no, joking? We did it before for Willow Logan, but yes, at the beginning of the millennia. I think maybe that's it was where. Terrible. Maybe that's where <laughs> it came back. These girls to. were assaulted on stage. <laughs> maybe yeah. that's where it goes back to. Let's have shows of five thousand people, yes. and we can keep it at that minimum. And that, those are our big shows. Exactly. When we have five thousand, six thousand people, so it's it's really something that a lot of them complain. Yeah. Lauren Hill, Wyclef complain, okay. Idris Elba complain. complain. Like, what's going on? Why do we have the rich guys mm. here who are drinking champagne right. and the cool guys <laughs> who <laughs> sing our songs and are then, back right. there? Because that's Find some that will work so just maybe it's worked for us in terms of safety. It might have worked for us, and maybe that's why over the years now our concerts have been very safe, mm -hmm. except for mm -hmm. one very notorious one. I don't want to mention yeah, the brand we, because we. it's an amazing brand, and they were not happy with the, the outcome too. Now. Let, let's <laughs> don't have that miracle. We know the one. I don't <laughs> know the name for the chef. We know the one. Okay. Shout out to you people. <laughs> let's move on to the last trendy story. Um, so Angel's butter car, a Range Rover, buys Range Rover um, SUV one month after uh, Big Brother yeah, Ninja. So, uh, so congratulations. And I think that Erica also just bought a uh, Range Rover. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations. Uh, congratulations. Uh, uh, congratulations. Uh, I hope the men will not be really emasculated. That's what it's kind of saying. So when you're... Emasculated. You know you said there's alpha male, there's better male. Why are there's there's the one male. sitting in the passenger side? <laughs> so, no, from me, congratulations to the girl. I like her, so if I hear that, you know... Do you, boo-boo? Congratulations, lady. You know, it just shows that you go to Big Brother, you get a car next. I need to go so next year. That's what comes out of the car. I'm just like so instant, instantaneous. I mean, buying cars. I, I, I don't want to know. Tax office are watching all this. Ac ac <laughs> that's it. I don't want to know where the car came from. I don't want to go. That's not my business. But congratulations, <laughs> Angel. A nice mm -hmm. ride. Yeah, it is a nice ride. Yeah, it's a very nice car. By the way, nobody should try to buy the 2022 version of that car. Why? It's, well. Is you haven't seen, it have you seen, I haven't have seen, seen you know, the, the 2020 version of the range? Oh you know, my, the kind of they will <laughs> donate money. These, These fans, are fans are crazy. Are, are good at donation. Go <laughs> point your account, it's not hard for them to do. You're, you're donating for somebody who's made money. I wonder how we think in this country. That's people that they give money to people that have money. That's what they do in this country. That's the start of game when I have so much money. This what? How many cows they give him on his money? 700 cows. Wasting money. Angel, congratulations. Congratulations. I still don't understand how fans who are living you know struggling mm -hmm. will put money Spending together money. with someone who's gone on a reality show and has done very I well know. i still don't cult love <laughs> Anyways, I can't love you. I'm just saying, man. Lagos State Tax Office, y'all do your jobs, man. There's so much money. I guess money there's so much around. money going on, no. Get yours, boo -boo. <laughs> All right. So I think people have to talk about yeah, trade fair. We'll take a break. Yeah, Anthony and Alpha is still here. We'll be talking about what's going on regarding trade fair. Afrif is here. Afrima. There's a whole lot going down in November, and of course, to expect in December. So please stick around for the conversation coming up.